Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. In this episode, uh, we have a bit of backtracking to do, and uh, as you can see here, I'm back over in the uh, selection screen. And so, um, in order to, uh, if you want to go and revisit some of the stages, uh, the, the ones I've already beaten, uh, all you gotta do is uh, you just uh, go to the uh, main uh, selection screen, uh, select the, uh, go to the uh, stage select, and then you just uh, see the whole map, and then you just uh, go in and pick whichever uh, stage you've already finished. Uh, you can actually uh, do those uh, either to improve your uh, rankings, or there's also other missions you can do. And some of the uh, more mundane missions, like collecting uh, a certain number of rings, or um, defeating enemies, or, um, or getting into the gold ring in the, under a certain time limit. So yeah, you can actually do those if you want to, if you want to get like all the other emblems, or basically for like you know improving your uh, emblem collection, or for just improving your uh, your rankings. And so the reason why I'm actually uh, backtracking here now is because uh, as I've already explained in the uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, we uh, we have to go back and uh, get the remaining upgrades for the characters because. Um, because there are some hidden upgrades that uh, they can only obtain if you have certain other ones, and so uh, you can actually go back to. Uh, some of the ones, uh, they could either be uh, more power-ups or uh, some kind of, um, or, or just uh, some kind of uh, item that uh, isn't really uh, all that much useful. But, but some of those other ones are, of course, it's of course going to be the Mystic Melody. Uh, not so much in Sonic's case, though, because it turns out that the Mystic Melody is actually going to be in this final stage. We'll be getting to in this episode, because, like... I thought that uh, all the other upgrades were just going to be the missing melody, but then it turns out, um, as I looked at those, um, as I looked at the power-ups, um, though that's actually not the case. I mean, some some of those are actually uh, missing melodies, but, uh, but there's, there's also one upgrade for Sonic that um, that's that's actually not the case, and um, it's actually just uh, something else entirely, like uh, as a way to uh, defeat some enemies. So, um, so it's going to be located over in uh, City Escape, all the way back over there, and uh, which I'm actually yeah, glad that we're just uh, going back there because you know I, I fucking love this track, Escape of the City. Oh, such a good track! I love it so much. Um, but anyways, uh, so it's going to be like uh, I, I want to show off entirely, so that way there you guys uh, know exactly where it's supposed to be. And it's uh, it's actually a little towards the end of the stage. And uh, there's also an requirement to uh, get this uh, upgrade. Uh, two upgrades actually. You, you need the uh, you need the bounce bracelet and the flame ring. To, uh, in order to get this one, so it's just going to be all the way down there, over to this, um, as we, uh, head through, not San Francisco. Also, watch as I, uh, I actually kind of fucked up on this, uh, loopy loop sequence, because, like, uh, because I thought, I thought I could just, uh, push up the control stick, but then that just is kind of, like, um, that kind of destroys, uh, Sonic's momentum altogether. You actually have to push, uh, down on the, uh, analog stick for, um, for, uh, for that kind of sequence. Alright, so, um, so yeah, this is actually the reason why you need both the bounce bracelet and the frame rings, because of the, uh, because of those, uh, steel containers. And, of course, they, they get the bounce on them. So, here we are in this, uh, little, uh, secret, uh, secret area that's right here. And then we see there's, uh, there's a the next upgrade for Sonic. This is the Magic Gloves. Change the magic hand in the action window, press the B, but when an enemy is close, capture enemies when they, and they turn into a ball. Try to throw them at other enemies. So, uh, see, so yeah, that's actually what it does. So, right, I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, show it off with this uh, gun beetle. Uh, so you just, um, yeah, just, uh, change the action icon to the uh, magic hands, and then, yeah, they turn to little miniature action figures in these uh, spheres, and you can just throw them at their enemies. But it's kind of useless in a way. So, like, you don't really use it that often. All right, so the next upgrade for uh, for Tails, uh, I think this should be. Uh, th th oh, actually, no, 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 it's not. I was thinking of uh, Tails' last upgrade, but. Um, the next upgrade for Tails is uh, going to be at the end of the stage in um, Prison Lane. I, I think I think it was called Prison Lane. Uh, this is the uh, Laser Blaster. I, I, I don't know if I ever read that right, but it was uh, I think it was the Laser Blaster. It's uh, it's actually an upgrade for uh, Tails' uh, Vulcan Cannon. So over there, you actually have like a more attack power. I guess I probably could have used that for uh, the um, Eggman boss fight, but you know, either I forgot or probably was too lazy. So. And then the next one, uh, yeah, Tails, uh, we're going to be showing off uh, Tails' uh, last uh, two upgrades uh, for this one. This is actually, uh, I think this is where he gets uh, the Mystic Melody for uh, in this stage. And it's over in, um, it's, o it's over in, um, Hidden Base? I, I, I forgot the name of the stage. I, I think it's, I think it's Hidden Base. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah, the last, uh, last upgrade for Tails, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Mystic Melody, so, um, it's gonna be like uh, located somewhere in the middle of the stage, so we'll just um, so yeah, that's just uh, all we gotta just uh, head through. And um, I guess uh, eh, not sure if there's that much else to uh, say at this point. Um, oh yeah, and I uh, think I fell into the quicksand pit. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, at least uh, at least there's a checkpoint though, so um, I probably should have edited that one out, but I decided not to because uh, because you know I, I was I was already right near the checkpoint anyway, so I guess I was uh, like. That was probably a no need anyway. 
Um, I also, uh, I do want to say, though, that, uh, you know, um, I, I know that, uh, you know, in previous videos, I kind of like, uh, you know, there, there are some times when I just uh, go on a rant so much, you know, when I just uh, go on a bit of an uh, angry note, and, you know, I know there might be some of you guys that uh, don't really like uh, having to hear so much um, coming here, but because, you know, at the, at the same time, guys, I, I tried my very best to, uh, to just uh, keep a full head, but there are going to be those instances where, like, some situations in, in games would absolutely really piss me off, and so I just uh, couldn't really help but, uh, but ramble on, so I mean, you know, you know, if it's, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you don't, if you don't really like it very much, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, folks, but, you know, that's just, that's just how I, I express myself with, uh, some, some situations that I, I cannot stand for the life of me, and, and this camera's being very walky, there we go, so, so there's, a uh, Tails missing melody, and pressing the action button, press the B button to play mysterious melodies, so you ever see those uh, mini uh, shrines here? Uh, you, uh, here in front of you, you, um, you press B to play the Mystic Melody, and then uh, some secret passages will be open, like this uh, door will be open, and then uh, some items uh, could appear, I believe. But mostly uh, some new um, secret passages will be open. So that's uh, basically what it does. It's uh, not so much of a requirement, I would say, but it's actually a good if you if you want to go and uh, find some uh, some shortcuts. Alright, and so this should be the last uh, upgrade to go on a uh, backtrack over to, and this will be uh, for Knuckles' Missing Melody. And so it's going to be located all the way over in uh, Wild Canyon, and so to get to that upgrade, you have to go to where this, uh, to where this uh, painting is over there, the, or these, um, this, uh, this uh, tablet here. And then you uh, use the Shovel Claw, it's actually required for you to use the Shovel Claw to get this one, so you press the... Uh, so, so, you, so now we got a uh, Mystic Melody, I don't know why I was going ahead and just uh, pressing B1 for Mystic Melody, but yeah, now we have the Mystic Melody for Knuckles, and then... This uh, creates a little, uh, little portal on this right here. I forgot to tell you what the uh, upgrades were for uh, for Tails to get the last upgrades. Uh, it's going to be like... Um, uh, I, I, it requires uh, the bazooka. So you need the bazooka for Tails final upgrades for for these ones. So Anyway, with that out of the way. So now we have received every single one of the uh, the heroes upgrades. Except for Sonic. So because uh, Sonic's last upgrade is going to be in this stage. Speaking of which, uh, this, is, uh, this is Final Rush. And so uh, this is gonna. This, this is uh, not only Sonic's last stage, but this is also the final stage in the hero story. And let me tell you guys, uh, this stage is long. Like I would say, probably a little longer than uh, Crazy Gadget. And I will have to say this though, that you know, there's gonna be lots of platforming you have to do, and and yeah, you're gonna be seeing so much uh, fuck ups because you know I've. You're gonna be seeing my life counter reach into uh, reach zero because there have been many times I uh, that I would uh, fall to my death because um. Cause, Cause, you know, that, that's, uh, I don't know, I, I lost my train of thought, um, yeah, a lot of times I would just, uh, fall my death, and so, uh, you don't really see that much, because, um, because I, uh, did a lot of, uh, editing to, uh, cut those, uh, parts off, but, yeah, there's, yeah, you, if you, uh, see my life, life counter go down, it's because I just keep falling my death, because, uh, because, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this stage is filled to the brim with grind rails, lots and lots of grinding that you have to deal with, and, you know, I'm gonna have to say this for uh, speedrunners. Like this, this is probably the one stage that I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, speedrunners would struggle with. Well, because like, sorry, um, they, they they must be real hardcore players for uh, for this one when they just uh, go through this stage uh, without falling to their deaths. But like, for for speedrunners, like I gotta say, it's you know, it, it's it's probably like uh, you 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 see you see the scene like that, and then. You just go like, how in the fuck did they do that? Like, how is this even possible? I can't, I can't do that shit. I'm never gonna be as good as them. And like, I don't know, maybe, or maybe they also failed this stage as well because you know, oh yeah, and, and you see that there? I just uh, missed on the uh, light speed dash. And you know, this is where things, uh, this is where something I've, also, I also start to notice that the, uh, the, the control gets a little slippery. Like, I kind of start to lose my traction at some point, and then I kind of slip off from those, um, from those grind rails. Because, you know, with all the platform, with the amounts of platforming and the amount, amounts of, um, grind rails I had to, um, that I had to go through, yeah, it's, it's very nerve I get so, so nervous in the stage, because, like, you know, um, I have to be very careful with this one, and I'm, and I'm gonna get ahead of myself here, but, uh, in this stage, I actually, uh, I actually do end up getting the, uh, the rank, because, uh, you know, well, it's, it's really because, you know, I, I don't want to take too many risks here. Because, you know, to get the aim rate, you have to do really, really good at this one. Like, something only a hardcore player would, would be able to achieve to, uh, to get the aim rate for, uh, uh, for, uh, for this stage. But, you know, because of how, because of all these tight spaces and all the grind rails and all the platforming, then, um, 
they know I have to be super careful because you know I'm trying to I'm trying to focus, focus so hard on exactly where I'm going because I just don't want to follow my death. And so you know, <laughs> that, that's that's the thing. I just I just don't I, I just want to be very careful with this one because you know I, I just get so nervous and and also uh, something more about the uh, the grinding like um I know you've already seen me just uh, exactly like directly jumping well I mean just jumping up higher and then uh, going to a different rail. I know that uh, there's a way to actually just uh, switch grind rails just by um, just by directly jumping to the over one by uh, pressing A and I guess uh, pushing left or right in the analog stick depending on uh, which rail you're at. Um, but there have, there have been those times where it never really works for me. Like I, I try that and it just never works. I either Sonic just uh, immediately falls off against um, I guess what I want him to do, and then uh, he just goes and and just and just falls down and it falls off the stage and then I uh, lose a life as a result. So you know, it's 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 just like these where you know, you, you know, I, I try to, to make the, like the perfect control for Sonic, but then he just uh, like he he disobeys me. He uh, he defies his master. Yeah, stupid hedgehog. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, if, if you see me do it very poorly, well, I do apologize, but you know, I have to be I have to be very careful here. So that's that's why. I also take a little uh, long to uh, to get up to this uh, screen because, like, because I because I'm not I wasn't really fast enough to get up there, and so um, so you really have to press and hold the B button to actually uh, crouch down to um, to get up to there. And yeah, after this checkpoint, I do believe this is actually where the uh, Mystic Melody is for uh, for Sonic. So in order to get the Mystic Melody, what you have to do is that you have to hop onto that platform with the uh, where the rocket is, and then you uh, grab another rocket that's right there, and it'll take you over to uh, this uh, next platform that's right this way. And oh, cool! An extra life. Uh, you basically have to just just had to uh, hop from uh, platform to platform to uh, to get to that upgrade. So you just have to keep on just uh, keep on that that path that I was uh, taken. So I'm under the rail, and then there it is. There's uh, Sonic's final upgrade, the Mystic Melody. And yeah, just like before with all the other characters. And so yeah, by that point, then we've gotten every single one of the upgrades for the uh, the hero characters. So let's go and play there right here, and then uh, that will uh, I'll upgrade uh, Trail Rings uh, for the uh, for Lightspeed Dash. Also, I want to say. Um, you know, if you ever pick up the uh, electrical shield, where, where, where that does actually uh, draws in the uh, the rings to a uh, Sonic, or just like how the electric shield uh, works in the uh, in the uh, classic Sonic games in the uh, Genesis days. And you know, I, I and you know, I I will not deny that without without a doubt that you know the the electric shield is, is actually without a doubt my favorite, my absolute favorite shield because you know I just I just like being able to have a ring drawn into me, so I have like a plenty of rings, but. I will say this though, I don't really like it so much in the 3D Sonic games, well, especially when the uh, Lightspeed Dash was introduced. Because um, you know, if you have it on, and then you see a trailer of rings, so you can use Lightspeed Dash on, but then you want to be really careful because uh, one of those rings will draw into you and the other ones will. And that actually uh, completely um, omits your chance to use Lightspeed Dash, and so you have to either fall your death or start over or just uh, restart from the checkpoint. So yeah, I don't like how that's been um, how that's been implemented. Maybe, that, maybe that's the reason why they got rid of the... Uh, the electric shield in the later Sonic games. I think, I think by the time of Heroes, but I'm not sure. I think it's, I think it's by the time of Sonic Heroes where, um, where they uh, got rid of the electric, electrical shields. As much as I actually do miss the shields in, um, in uh, later Sonic games, but you know, that, that that could be the reason. So I ended up taking the wrong path for this one because there's like multiple th paths you can take. So I ended up taking this one. And then there's a bunch of a uh, hot debris chasing after Sonic, but at least I got out of it because like I, I think I was like. Low on rings. I, I don't know if I ever had any rings though, because I have to be very careful. And I was, and you know, you see my life counter there. I have zero lives. That's like my very last chance, or else I get a game over. But now, final or, or final rush is done, and so uh, I, I was, I was about to say final chase, but I was thinking of the shadow stages. But, um, but yeah, final rush is done, and so uh, we can move on to, uh, I believe, the last challenge for us. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in you space. You know, what can I say? I die hard. You actually saved me, you know. It was a Chaos Emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the Chaos Control using an emerald that's fake. So, there's more to you than just looking like me. What are you, anyway? Sonic the Hedgehog! I see. But you know, I can't let 
you live. Your adventuring days are coming to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the final boss for the uh, for the hero story of this game. Uh, we are now up against Shadow for the second time, and so this boss fight against Shadow works uh, very much differently than the last time we fought him. Uh, well, of course, as as like we used to, used to do, just say uh, you know, um, you just uh, roll on him and then have that, that's how he takes damage. And you can also collect some rings as well. So if you ever attack him and then he uh, you hear the um, the uh, losing ring sound effect, then don't, don't don't worry, it's not it's not you. It's actually yeah, see like that. It's actually just him losing the rings. So that's uh, basically what you have to do for it to take damage. Um, here's the thing, though. Uh, you can't use a homing attack against him, though. I, uh, I tried a couple of times, and then it, it didn't work because um, because if you uh, use a homing attack, uh, like you'll actually be tail or you'll you'll be tailgating him, and then uh, it's gonna be hard to, hard to reach, and so it'll just uh, take forever. So you you have, to, you have no choice but to cancel cancel it out. And uh, Shadow also has a new uh, special attack as well. Uh, for what you saw there, he used uh, he uses this uh, ability called uh, Chaos Spear. And then when he does that, then he'll just uh, shoot those uh, Chaos Spears right at you. That's that's where you have to do your best to avoid them. And you basically just have to keep up with Shadow in order to uh, get the uh, get a hit on him. Um, if you uh, if you're too far away from uh, from Shadow, then um, you'll uh, you actually uh, he'll use Chaos Control to uh, to teleport uh, like re like very much in front of you. Um, he activates this if you uh, if you hear him uh, say his line. He goes like, "This is the ultimate power." And then uh, he, that's why he uses uh, Chaos Control. Um, in the, uh, later, uh, attacks, like, once we, uh, once we get to this point for, uh, to, uh, dropping, uh, Shadow's health, um, he'll actually, uh, he'll actually, uh, pick up on your strategy, and then he'll try to dodge your attacks. Like, if you, um, if you try to roll on him, and then he'll jump up, and then he, uh, he, he, he gets invincible against your attacks. So, um, so you want to do your very best, like, uh, what I would do is that you want to, um, you want to stand still, and then wait till he, he, uh, activates his, uh, Chaos Spears. And then that'll be a chance to attack him while he's, while he's still standing there. I uh, I didn't think to do that beforehand, so that's why it kind of uh, took a little while for then. So that's like, that's like the only way to defeat him, to uh, attack him at this point, just by uh, doing that. I, it, it took me a while to do that because I uh, forgot that you had to do that. But yeah. Uh, by the way, folks, um, the music that's playing right now, um, I I love this track. This this track here. It's called uh, "For True Story," and this really, really does fit well for uh, for a boss like this going up against Shadow. It really does. I love this track. You know, you know, as, as much um, as much as it could be a mixed bag kind of thing for the soundtrack in Sonic Adventure 2 because the emphasis on guitar. You know, you, you have to admit that um, they they still do a good job with it. You know, incorporating a soundtrack for certain situations. It really does fit well for this one, especially for this track. It's this is such a good track. I I really do. It's it's so it's so badass and. You know, it, it's like no nonsense at this point. You know, you just, uh, you know, you're up against a rival or, uh, or a potential enemy, and Shadow was passing out for a second there. But then after that, then, uh, then we, uh, were able to use an attack on then. Shadow is down, and so, therefore, we have saved the world once and for all. Hopefully. Sonic, I did it! Awesome job, Tails! Sonic! Eh? Look outside! Ooh. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so, uh, so that is it for the hero story. We got that done, and so, uh, yeah, we're seeing the credits roll, as we, uh, would probably see in, uh, much of, uh, 3D Sonic games. 
That doesn't mean we're done, though. No, uh, we still have, uh, like, a lot to go. We're only, like, uh, halfway there, but... You know, I gotta say, um, you saw how, uh, you know, uh, the Sonic and the uh, company go through, uh, through space. Somehow, uh, they can breathe the space. Yeah, they, 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 they can somehow breathe the space. Yeah, this, uh... The, the Sonic series, for some reason, just runs on a Jimmy Neutron logic where, uh, you know, apparently everybody can breathe in space for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so yeah, we are now officially done with the, with the hero story, and so, uh, yeah, like I said, we're only halfway there just because, uh, even though the credits are, uh, rolling, because, you know, we still have the, uh, the dark story that we have to go through, and then after that, then there should be, uh, um, you know, probably something else before we, uh, get done with this game. So, you know, uh, I guess, uh, I might as well just go and, uh, tell you my thoughts about the hero story, you know, since usually when credits roll, then, um, then, um, I would just, uh, you know, say my opinions, um, yeah, the hero story might be pretty, uh, simplistic, but I will say, though, that, uh, you know, if you're going for the hero story first, then, um, you know, you're gonna be left with a lot of questions where, where you know, like, what, exactly what's going on, and, like, there's a lot of, uh, ambiguity about, you know, some situations, like, you know, who was a shadow, and then why does, uh, Dr. Eggman want to go and use the space colony arc to take over, to, um, take over the world, and then, uh, something about it, here's the bat. Well, actually, ironically enough, uh, all the answers are to be uh, are to be revealed in the uh, the dark story, because you know that's that's actually where the uh, that's where most of the plot goes through is the dark story. Not so much in the hero story though. There's like, you know, there, there there's some there's some stuff that happens there that you probably see, but then you're left wondering why or you know what's going on. And so you know because of that, then it can be a pretty simplistic about um, about what is for uh, for the hero story. You know, just so, you know, I want to say the world and all that. Uh, by the way, uh, the song that the music, the song that's playing right now, it's called. Uh, it's actually it doesn't matter, but it's uh, but it's actually a remix of the uh, the song that was originally played in um in uh, Sonic Adventure One. It is a good track. Don't get me, don't get me wrong, but I do prefer uh, SA One's uh, version a little more because you know I guess it, because of how it's better paced. But, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I'd say about uh, about the hero story. Well, you know, some frustrating stages as well. You know how questionable it is for uh, Tails to just you know. His pilot as a uh, as mech instead of just using a tornado, but I've already ran on that too much, so. Anyway, so yeah, I guess that about does it. And so uh, pretty soon it's gonna play the trailer for um, for the uh, Dark Story, so. So, anyhow, uh, next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, we are going to head over to the Dark Story, and then we'll uh, see what kind of answers are that awaits there. So, and yeah, we're gonna be playing as the, uh, the villains too, so there we go. So, until next time, I will see you guys later. Eggman steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow. Sealed in the space colony park, the Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be at hand. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire.